day everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to complete the passport submission request of ircc for a canada visa first this we'll talk about the requirements one by one time frame and tips so make sure to finish this video to be fully guided first requirement is the passport request letter from ircc let me show you the copy of the letter that came from ircc so normally you just have to scroll down until you see this attachment which looks like this so it says here that the processing of your application for permanent residence in canada is almost complete you must complete the following steps within 30 days in order for our office to issue your confirmation of permanent residence and if you scroll down all requirements are here so we don't have to worry all you have to really do is to print a copy of this letter your original passport two photos pair photos i'm going to show you the measurement later on and one of the important things is this one appendix b you also have to fill in this information okay so that's the letter from ircc next requirement is your original passport third requirement is two pr photos and you have to be very careful with the measurements if you must show this information to the photographer and then at the back you will have to write your name and date of birth and then date of when was it taken name and address of the photography studio the next requirements are the tricky ones so my tip number one is to make sure you email VFS in your country to directly ask other paper requirements since it varies per country. I was really close to making an error by submitting an updated VFS checklist that I got from Facebook. Good thing was I emailed VFS days ago before mailing my requirements. This is how it looks like. For the VFS checklist, you just have to put a check from numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then below would be your name, your signature, and the date. For the VFS consent form, you just have to read all of this information to make sure that you understand what you are signing for. So in this part, let me give you an example. Your personal information written here was much everything that you provided to IRCC. And at page 4, if you've already provided biometrics before, just cross this out, write already provided biometrics, sign, and put a date. By the way, if this is your first time to watch my channel, you might want to subscribe because I create informative videos discussing Canada immigration processes, such as visa applications, requirements, eligibilities, timeframes, and many more. I also include updates about latest news and immigration changes that may affect your visa application or visa status. My mission is to spread free awareness so that as much as possible, you can do things by yourself without needing to pay someone to do it for you. So subscribe and hit the notification bell to get automatic updates every time I create new Canada videos. If you're already subscribed, thank you. It will still benefit you because I'll also be discussing about best jobs in Canada, work or healthcare benefits, how to file your taxes, and everything that's essential to your stay in Canada. Thank you. You can also visit my Facebook page and make sure to click like if you want to be notified using Facebook. For your convenience, just click the link in the description box of this video to join our Facebook team. Last but not the least is VFS check. There was quite a confusion about how much should be paid because of the old and new fee. Plus, due to COVID, they are giving a discount. According to their email, it is 341 pesos per person and 109 pesos if you'll avail the SMS alert about your passport's whereabouts. So the total amount of paid was 450 pesos, but I made it 480 pesos in case a discount was no longer applicable, just to be sure. My next tip is you really do not have to avail of their SMS or text alerts about your passport because everything is being emailed by VFS anyways. So I was getting two alerts, one from my email and one from text messages and realized that the SMS alert was not really necessary. 
since I'm getting constant email anyways. But if you're not always online, it's still good to avail their text service. By the way, my next video is about the preparations I've done for my flight, such as how to secure a CFO certificate and other requirements needed by Philippines and Canada's immigration. Also, feel free to comment your questions below if you have, and I'll make sure to get back to you. Once you have everything, send it to this address if you're in Philippines. I suggest that you use a hard envelope to protect your passport and documents. Regarding the time frame, it only took 8 business days then by YOLA, passport with visa and confirmation of permanent residency on hand. Alright, I hope this video is helpful. I wish you luck to your application. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next time. Bye! Enjoyed my end.